Hello viewers, Kubiando, Kith, and Kin, and welcome back to Potion Craft, where today, it seems like maybe our garden has kind of come through. Ah, one. All right, maybe I spoke too soon. I was all ex excited about the mushrooms and the... All right, most of, this, most of that stuff was in pretty good quantity. The one sulfur shelf's a little bit of a bummer. Uh, okay, so, where are we at today? What is, what is our focus? Today, we are focused on making money, because we need to purchase an awful lot of stuff. Uh, do we, we don't have any other, like, pressing alchemical concerns or anything, right? In theory, we could be working on the Citronitas, because we don't need the, um, we don't need the rest of the alchemy machine to do this. Yeah, okay. Um, if we do this, it will consume our albedo, and I don't know if the the rubedo the rubedo will will take the citronitas, not the albedo, as an ingredient. However, my guess is that the moon salt is probably going to need albedo the same way that the um, the void salt needed um, negredo. So we're probably going to have to make another albedo if we want to get both of those things going, and that's not like a totally trivial task. Let's maybe not work on it until we actually see the moon salt recipe. Just so we know. All right, growing carnivorous plants, but they're still so small. So you would like a strong potion of wild growth. I feel like we haven't sold a potion of wild growth in a really long time. Uh, it is downright, and we're talking about a potion with multiple effects. So what do you reckon? Like health, strength are probably both pretty solid. I don't know if healing potion is necessarily what we want, but like a, adding strength to the to the potions probably does something? Question mark, hopefully. I don't know that there's anything else around here that I think would count. And I you know what? I I'm realizing I don't actually know how this multiple effects thing works in the sense that um I don't know if it scales linearly in, in bonus value with the number of effects you put on, or if it's like just a threshold. Like, you know, if there are at least three multiple effects, you get paid off. If there are fewer than three, you get nothing. So unfortunately, it's really hard to evaluate what is worth doing here. Um, but I'm, I'm definitely inclined to like try to grab strength It would be a huge pain. Well, maybe not a huge pain, but it would not be ideal to grab strength and like stone skin, make the plants really tough. We could do it. If we came down here and grabbed strength and then jumped in the whirlpool, grab this, then we have to go right and up a bunch. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take us to the strength place and we will go from there to the other thing and Ah, uh, but do I wanna, I probably wanna do this by hand because I only want a level two strength effect, right? Well, if I get a level three strength effect, uh, getting three levels of this will just, will it will keep all three levels of this and it'll just push one strength off. So that's probably fine. Yeah, let's just do it like that. Shoot, what I meant was continue brewing from here. Now we just have a whole strength potion. I mean, listen, that'll get sold. We will find a use for it. Uh, so I know we have one Tangleweed left. Tangleweed's not really appropriate here. I need like up and right, but I definitely don't have. Oh no, I have some, I have some Witch Mushroom. Uh, okay, you know what I'm gonna do here actually? Let's grind this all the way and we're gonna use the Whirlpool to sort of move us sideways a little bit here. This is my brilliant plan. I don't know if this is actually going to work. We want to get deep enough in the whirlpool that when it moves us sideways, it's not scraping us through the bones primarily. Okay, just very, very gently heat it. There we go. I feel pretty good about that. And then just a, like mostly a bunch of water bloom, right? We have a single tangleweed left, and I guess... There's no reason not to use it, right? Yeah, I, I think we may as well just use it. This is a situation where it is 
Uh, it is safe to do so without question. Okay, does, yeah, Water Bloom will get us past the, the point that we need. And we'll just have to do a little bit of, uh, a little bit of water adjustment. I hope we get paid an amount of money that makes it worthwhile. So I feel like I'm going to a fair amount of effort for this potion. Very nearly overdid it. <clears throat> okay, tell me this is what you wanted and you're willing to pay a ton for it. Ah, uh, okay, it's not terrible. So just, <laughs> just a quick conversation about the different manifestations of the Jersey Devil. Uh, I am not confident I can make that work. I'm confident I can make this work. I don't know why a conversation about alchemy needs to contain a bunch of talk about shuttlecocks, but whatever. Listen, there's lots of things about alchemy I don't understand. Okay, I still don't actually know what you mean by a potion that imbues your blade with magical power. This is not gonna work, right? This doesn't do that. Uh, a potion of all of this shit? Okay, I mean, he'll pay 39 for it. What about all of this shit together, no? Oh, interesting. He'll just get angry and bail if you test too many things on the scale. I've never seen that before. A potion that will help you move about more quietly. Why, my friend, it sounds like you're asking for the classic. We just call this the classic around here because it's the only thing I can sell. Uh, okay, I might be able to do this. It turns out I know a thing or two about assassination. Not a great start. Yeah, I'm bad at this haggle. Perhaps I'm intimidated a little bit by the assassination that I know is being planned. Damn it. I'm really bad at hitting that one in particular. I'm calling it at minus 34. Yeesh. Uh, okay, what kind of potion do you need this time, friend? Interesting mushrooms go in certain caves, but I never go there because it's so cold. Uh, if you can find me some protection from the cold. Well, my friend, it turns out. All right, what kind of mushrooms you got today? The poop shroom is interesting. Kraken mushrooms are pretty cool. Foggy parasols are neat. Mad mushrooms are neat, but they're real expensive. I might, these, these seem really, these seem pretty useful. I can definitely just, I'm gonna buy those out entirely. And the question is, you know, as those are not very expensive. There's a lot of places where you will not be able to use that safely, but I think it's worth it's worth going for. Oh man, if you don't know how to start a conversation, talk about the weather. Why is this the hard haggle? I mean, just like subject matter wise, not the actual mechanics wise, obviously. It's also fairly easy relative to that, although you'd never know from my performance. I'm so good at clicking the tiny spaces between the bands. Jesus. Fucking fine. How am I so bad at that? <laughs> it's incredible. Uh, a potion of youth. Okay, cool. Yeah, rejuvenation is not exactly youth, but I get where you're coming from. Uh, you know, in theory... That's doable, but I'm having no luck with haggles of that level today, so why don't we just... It's not luck. I'm having no skill <laughs> with haggles of that level today. Uh, does any of this stuff have magic sight in it? I don't think so. All right, uh, do I have the ingredients? Not the, not automatically, but I definitely can do this. And there's a fair amount of XP on the way, depending on how we want to approach it. So the Kraken Mushroom, if I go up a little bit first, like maybe a, um, maybe a Wind Bloom worth. We have Witch Mushrooms and stuff, like we can, we can do this a variety of ways. 
but I want to see if this if this fits in here. And it pretty much does. I think in this case we want to grind it to like hereabouts. Uh, and then it is a little bit of a shame that it's like narrowly dodging a lot of the XP. Nope, don't put the pestle in the pot. Then you're gonna have to retrieve it and who's gonna look like a fool? Uh, what is gonna be the right way to approach from here? It might be the case that I wanna use the whirlpool a little bit. Yeah, maybe, let's um, Let's stir along the path here. Oh, I still managed to grab that one. That's cool. Yeah, if I can readjust my position. Sadly, this whirlpool goes clockwise. Maybe a little more. Maybe even a little more. I'm trying not <laughs> being very wary of how close I am to the center. See, this is not ideal. This one is always such a pain. You really should get paid more for how annoying it is to get in here. So on this one, I, I don't think we survive that, right? We could try it. don't have anything else that's going to go up and to the right any more effectively, certainly. And if I were to try to fix the positioning on this, like... What we really want is to go down and left some more so that we end, like, on that book. Which I guess I can... Just have to be very careful because we're getting close to the center of this thing now. Yeah, a little bit more... Okay, smash some shit, and I think we survived that. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And then, yeah, like another witch mushroom will do it. Do I want to use something else, though? This seems like a terrible waste of a whirlweed. Actually, it kind of seems like a witch mushroom is the only thing that does it in one. Darn it. Stupid slippery mushrooms. May as well grind that all the way up. <clears throat> we might be able to get some use out of it. Okay, I think it's like right about there. All right, I'm pretty sure we're not gonna be able to collect that book there, that triple book. Ah, just not quite. That's fine. At least they pay well for that one, which is nice because it is really, really a huge pain in the ass to make. See, I can do okay on a haggle with bars this thin if the, if the little arrow is not moving so fast. Uh, sleep darts. Sleep darts I can do. Sleep darts are very, very doable. Wow, I maybe could have gone up to the next level on this one. Those are some very broad bands. Uh, a potion of flight. We have lots of upward, but I'm not sure... I might have to do this manually. Uh, no. I totally have that set of ingredients. Okay, well, this one's probably going to be quite valuable. Yeah, it's nice when the when the bands start that wide. Okay, when the alchemist shows up, we are definitely going to be able to afford some stuff. Uh, I don't think I want to do any experimental brewing today. I think I really do want to just focus. Try to keep as much ingredient uh, stock on hand as possible for customer work. Okay, bunch of life bloom. Always happy to see life bloom. A little bit of stink mushroom. There's some useful stuff, for sure. 
Uh, what kind of potion do you need? We excavated an abundant cave, but it's guarded by a huge bug with a shell-like stone. A potion that will pierce a shell-like stone. No, not a, a strength is not the issue. Um, maybe acid? An acid potion might work. And if he doesn't need it, somebody will take it off our hands. Okay, I don't have any of the thorn vine that we used to make it last time. Do we, is acid right side up on the oil thing? Well, actually, we gave the old man a level one potion of frost uh, resistance and that seemed to be fine. Maybe we'd only have to do a level one here. Is acid a known quantity? There's acid protection. It seems like maybe we can't do an acid potion out of oil. At least if it if it exists, we don't know where. Yeah, all right. Inconvenient, but what are you gonna do? So continuing to buff up my merchants is important. However, we also really do need to keep doing customer work. So can I do this without it being incredibly expensive? Well, we have a bunch of mushroom and like lava root and sulfur shelf. Yeah, I think we probably, we can probably do this without it having too much of an ability on our, or too much of an impact on our ability to make potions for the rest of the day. It does make a certain sense that the potion for the dwarf would be largely made of mushrooms, doesn't it? Okay, so we can make it all the way over here pretty fast. And then I do have 21 stink mushroom. Honestly, two of these might get us where we're going. I'm a little concerned that we're gonna descend too quickly. Yeah, there's a little, a little bit too much descent. Uh, the lava route takes you above the midline. I think this is probably just, it's probably just going to have to be another two ingredients. Yeah, there's not really a way around it. Okay, um, well, how much does it matter what they are? Firebell will do just fine. And then... Just some terraria? Sort of unexciting. Dryad Saddle actually won't work. Poop Shroom will. And there are lots of situations where we're not going to be able to use Poop Shroom safely. So actually, I'm inclined to go for that. And we'll just not, um... You know. He doesn't need any details on this. This won't tell him what's in there. <clears throat> so I hope this will work. If this doesn't work, I have to admit, I don't have any idea what else he might be asking for. So probably just out of luck. to go slightly past there we go i really do like the like the basic system here to figuring out all the different combinations of movements to end up on exactly the right spot i think it's very satisfying all right will this cover you excellent uh and then what you got we got some very expensive rocks cloud crystal cloudy like a cloud crystal like a crystal of course uh, these are very cool. Frost Sapphire is like way expensive, but I will buy all of the others. Can I do on the topic of monsters? Maybe not. Honestly, minerals looks like it's going to be a challenge even. Let's just try this. Okay, a little practice really does help. I feel like I've gotten way better at that. At the beginning of the game, we were missing the middle haggle all the time. Now it's now it's the one above that. Uh, you need a mana potion. 
which I did finally save a recipe for, and it's not a usable recipe this time, because Tangleweed. All right. This is hardly even worth the money, like the, the effort, but what I like a lot about it is we're finally approaching negative 100 reputation, and I would like to get to see, you know, the precise kind of clientele that you get at, uh, at that level. So, do I have anything that will reach far enough from here? Yeah, actually, Kraken Mushroom totally does the job. So here's the question, do I wanna stop there? Well, you know what, I'm gonna grind it the rest of the way, um, but I will, yeah, there's no, no harm in doing it the whole way. Uh, but I will try to do the match up here. What I was thinking is that looks like it's maybe about the midline and we might be able to ride it all the way down and then do the match. But if we do it that way, obviously, first of all, I risk not getting the clean level three off of it. And secondly, um, we could just water adjust it here, make the potion, and then continue the line and we'll still get all this. Meaningful skill points are few and far between at this point. So I'm getting a little fixated on the XP. I had to remember that like making the potions is also important. grab some XP real quick. Like the next thing we want is, yeah, it's probably just this. I don't know that we need more vision than we have. It's not amazing. It's fine. That looks like it's gonna be really hard. Great work. I'm kind of just haggling over nothing at this point. Like this is not an amount of money that is worth the effort. Minus 99. Okay, potion of necromancy. I didn't happen to save. Nope, we actually have to do that every time. It's valuable. Do we have, we don't have necromancy on the oil chart at all, do we? I guess we don't actually know. There is still an unexplored area on the oil chart and I probably ought to fix that. But for the moment, no. Do I wanna fix that right now? Just like tell this guy to hang on for a second? Probably. It's pretty, um, it's pretty important that I know what's over there. Yeah, all right. We'll start by smashing up a bunch of good berry. Okay, this will, in theory, get us past the interference area, except that there is definitely going to be some interference on the line already, so I don't know where exactly that's going to end up. And then from here, we probably want to go fairly directly to the right. And let's see exactly where that's gotten us post-interference before we make any more commitments here. Okay, that's not, that's not too bad of an outcome, really. So does Goodberry squeeze through here? It sure does. And I think it is even going to get us the green one. Probably don't want to go all the way down, but far enough down that we have the best possible chance of getting the uh, the big thing. Cool. Uh, could be better. I mean, we could just water adjust a little bit and then bring ourselves to the right with the um, with the water bloom maybe the right move or, uh, sorry oil adjust in this place all right and this will start getting us vision of something new pretty quickly I would expect in an area that size there's probably at least one potion type left unexplored do I want to go over or on let's go over so that we can grab this Although I don't know exactly what's going to happen with that interference. 
yeah, I did get caught in it. Okay, well, that could have been a lot worse. Hmm. What I need is something that is like the opposite of the... Well, actually, the Kraken Mushroom's not too terrible here. It could end up being a little awkward. But let's, let's try it. Let's see what this does. I'm a little leery of going all the way down with this. Because if um, if the interference area is enough to move that rightward line to like here, could be putting ourselves in grave danger. Okay, maybe I was wrong. It looks like there's probably not, in fact, a potion thing over here. However, what there is, is just a lot of XP to be gained. Also, I guess technically a whirlpool I can check. Do I want to do that? If it moves us up, I'm not going to be super happy. It, no, I don't think I need to do that. Let's just grind up the old poop shroom, which really sounds like a euphemism, but I cannot imagine for what. And then I guess I'm going to turn this into a rejuvenation potion. Might want to actually stay on this side and like go down and then left. bit more base money. I don't think I'm going to spend any more ingredients to go out of our way here. Let's just let's just go left and cap this. enough that the guideline is quite clear. Okay. Definitely not the usual way you're going to want to make that. <laughs> so anyway, potion of necromancy, huh? So we still don't actually know what most of the whirlpools inside of that area do on account of they are terrifying to approach. We actually still, man, we have a ton of area on the water map that is still unexplored. Ugh, all right. Problems for later. Right now, what am I going to use to breach? Mudshroom moves you pretty fast, but I also don't... It's pretty inconvenient because the part where it's moving you quickly is, like, is shaped like this. It's a bad scoop. Um, oh... Yeah, okay, now that we understand how the stone works, we can move ourselves over to here and then try to drop ourselves, like, into this area. That might be the best way to do this. So if that's the plan, what I probably want to do is something like... How much left do I want? I guess I'm going to take all of the left that is offered here, even though there's awful, an awful lot of up attached to some of it. And then we can mudshroom our way down pretty quickly here. Uh, and then... Yeah, just repeat. A little bit overzealous. Do I want to... Yeah, I definitely don't want to all the way grind this. It would have, This is a nice open space. Maybe I should just use the poop shroom. And the poop shroom does, at full grind, also move you left a fair amount. It's actually pretty, pretty handy for this specific situation. So I'm going to take this over to here and poop shroom again from from there. That's going to give me 
Uh, it's not quite safe, is it? Dryad Saddle's not terrible. Let's like stop it over here, and then let's um let's see what we can what we can figure out from this position. I need to need to take a moment and kind of like measure the effect of the stone against what we have available. Okay, so that would just barely get us over the line now in a place where I don't feel particularly safe. The only stones we have are up and down, right? Yeah, I didn't end up buying any of the one that goes rightward. So it would not be sensible to like take the whirlpool, but that's an interesting option. There's no way that I'm going to be able to get all the way to like this area from out here. That's too much to hope for. But if I could adjust down right a little bit more, I would definitely feel safer. What's gonna be the most effective way of doing that? The poop shroom's just like a little too much. The dryad saddle. You know, the dryad saddle I don't hate as long as it doesn't kill us. I don't feel confident though that it, that it won't kill us. Let me try something here. I'm trying to get the just enough room for there to be. Yeah, I need some breathing room and I definitely do not have it. Uh well. I think I'm gonna die here if I try to finish this. So maybe we just void salt the whole remainder of the path there. And we use the rock now. We get kind of a non-optimal result out of it, but I think that's the only way I don't lose this potion. It's so like put me here and I'll figure it out from here. Okay, teleportation. Turns out to be valuable. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna need probably just a fire bloom or something, right? Ooh, fire bloom's not actually great for this. The flame weed is a little bit, little bit less intense burn. So do that and then yeesh. That, um, that poop shroom path might be survivable. I'm not sure. You know, maybe I should have just done another earth pirate immediately. I was thinking we would move around, but like, I could have just finished this. I want to try to save the earth pirate as much as possible, right? It's like, it has obvious value. All right, we're just gonna hope. I think I'm gonna survive this brush. Yeah, okay. And then right here, we can have the bellows move us down a little bit for free. That looks pretty survivable, I think, hopefully. Uh, we can do some water adjustment on this. Yeah, okay. And then, gosh, I wish I had a dream beat right now. A dream beat would probably be really good. Uh, or a mad mushroom. Mad mushroom would be cool. None of this quite sweeps upward in the way that I need. That actually gets us... This Bloodthorn might be just right, actually. 
just make sure that we're going to make it over the center line. The only danger here is that we might be too far forward already. Ah, oh, man, the tiniest little motion I needed. Okay, uh... Yes, Terraria will work. Necromancy's hard work. It's almost like nature doesn't want you to do this or something. I don't know. It's weird. Uh, okay. With that, do we want to take the opportunity to test this whirlpool? I, I think the answer is yes. So let me let me do this in a way that's not going to kill me. Let's water adjust a bit. Okay. I would like to test that wh that whirlpool up there. Hmm. That's a little... I think we're going to have to just use a um, a mudshroom here, which is awkward because it's like... That's a lot of movement potential wasted. We can probably get the full distance out of this, just, you know, being smart with the water. Okay, then we just have to get like in there a little bit and the force of the whirlpool will take care of everything else. Uh, let's go ahead and use the last feather bloom for this. My expectation is that this is just gonna dump us like back out there or something. It's gonna put us somewhere not useful, um, but I do want to know. Oh, okay, that was the connection to that one. Well, that's fine then. That being the case, the thing is, I don't actually want to check what that is right now. This potion is, is for money. I suppose the best way to do it would actually be to just descend down here and then earth pyrite from there. So yeah, that's fine. We'll take the big chunk of XP we earned, finish the potion, and get our filthy, filthy lucre. Wow, yeah, good base price. Let's talk about weapons for a little while. Let me just assure you that I know how violence works, and if you don't pay me what I want for this potion, I can show you. Perfect, he says. Hooray, we did it, we're pure evil. Uh, a potion that makes me smaller and more nimble. So smaller uh, is a thing we can do with the oil base. It's probably on the, the water chart as well. It is, you know, it's not entirely trivial, but that's not actually that bad. It's basically just go to the right a lot. Go down here. Let's see if we can mostly go under this big, uh, this big interference cloud. I know it says more nimble, and I am a little worried that we're gonna, um, <clears throat> we're gonna bring this up to him, and he's gonna be like, no, what I wanted was a potion of agility. Um, but smaller is pretty unambiguous, right? Gosh, I hope so. All right, let's see where that is actually going to leave us. It's actually a pretty great outcome. <clears throat> okay, so... Next up is some... Um, probably not Kraken Mushroom. Use the relatively unturbulent water bloom instead. Actually, the Kraken mushroom might be appropriate here, though. It's going to be a brief brush with death. Nothing we can't handle. Ooh, okay. Almost something we couldn't handle. This is going to be kind of weird because we're dipping into the, uh, 
into the interference. Okay, yeah, that's not bad. But we don't want to go that way right now. This, and then from here, we might be able to just life bloom it. Gosh, we are picking up so much XP, and it is mattering so little. Yeah, there we go. That'll work. I may as well finish grinding it. Okay. So we get a couple of chances at this. So if, I, if I whiff it on the way down, we can try again on the way back. I have no idea. That feels like it should be very valuable. Eh, not that much. Ooh, that looks harsh. The alcohol thing, there's only one branch that we're going to be able to hit reliably. I'm actually just going to take this one. I know this is like baby haggling, but the money difference isn't that huge. You would love some witch mushroom. Did I just use the last of my witch mushroom? No, I still have some. Uh, it doesn't have to be through the main gate. It's better if it's not through the main gate. So it sounds like what you want is a potion of flight. With a witch mushroom in it. Which I can probably do. But I'm going to have to mix it manually. Flight is high value. With a bonus. With a bonus, I'm, I'm pretty excited to see where we're going to end up. Um... That's safe, right? So this next bit I'm worried about. Uh, yeah, safe enough. This also I think is like safe, but barely. So we'll get over here somewhere. We'll witch mushroom once. Uh, this is actually a really good fit for our situation. And then does the witch mushroom... The whirlpool is going to move us clockwise, which is kind of annoying. We probably do not witch mushroom here. We probably do something else first. Like, let's go up here and then just move to the right a bit and witch mushroom, like, in this space. Alright, gotta get that distinctive tang of witch mushroom into the brew. And then... That's kind of ugly, but I guess it'll work. This is where I wish I had a little more feather bloom. It's feather bloom going up and left on its way to the uh, to the first marker would be really nice. Yeah, this will. We won't die. This will be fine. I think. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure we will survive that. we go. Gosh, I sure hope this is what she was asking for. Right above the main gate is not through the main gate. Perfect. She's got a fancy gem for us. Yeah, I'm just bad at talking about monsters. 
Um, hmm, maybe. The biggest problem is on these difficult haggles, the penalty for a miss is so huge. Like you lose so much progress. Yes, if you've done everything right for a really long time and you're almost at max and then you miss two, you are just, you're done. God, I can't even get it like off of the table. Fucking there we go. Not actually technically the worst deal. Yeah, that level of haggling is just not, it's not worth it. I uh, learned of a new spot. Oh yeah, right. You didn't want the very good potion I made for the thing that you... Uh, wanted. No, nothing. Alright, show me your goods. Let's buy from you anything that's going to be super valuable to buy. Thunder Thistle is amazing. Give me a ton of that. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to take all of the ice fruit as well. I like being able to purchase, like, huge amounts of things. This makes our, um, it makes our ability to build stuff way more stable. Okay, now we try to offer you more potions. Um, slipperiness is gonna be the opposite of what you want. Stench, enlargement, nope, okay. Potion that will make you big and intimidating. Well, I do have a potion of enlargement. Uh, the effects are incompatible, though, he says. I disagree. But what you, what you want is a potion of enlargement. You're just being picky for weird reasons. It's fine. It's fine. So enlargement's, like, actually really awkward to get to. Apparently, I've never checked this whirlpool, but it's not, it's not going to do the thing I want. What about enlargement on the oil thing? It is on here. And it is right side up. Yeah, that's not too hard to reach. We can do that. I really like having the extra base. I wish they introduced this idea earlier in the game. Uh, so we did not pick up a lot of extra ways to go left, sadly. Yeah, like a mad mushroom would be really nice here. All right, let's do this thing where we grind to the peak. I would rather not just have to go through all of this noise, but I'm starting to wonder if that is indeed what is going to happen. Well, let's try again, grind to the second peak. Okay, that whirlpool is definitely counterproductive. Gosh, I sure hope we don't go like a whole episode here without seeing the alchemist at all. Get up to about here so that we're above that distortion field. We're not quite in place for the stink mushrooms yet. I think we need one more, one more movement left. That's probably good enough, right? I guess I should go get the XP, and then we can um, we can use our base our base to adjust us further. All right, some version of this is gonna work.
That looks like a pretty good match. I might have overshot it a little. No, actually, I think that's really solid. Cool. All right, are we low enough to grab this? Oh, no, not quite. Uh, if I did just a single stink mushroom, could I get... No, I would not be able to grab this and that. Well, do I think it's worth spending a thing to just grab this, this big book? Yeah, all right, let's do it. It is, yeah, it is 240 XP by itself. All right, and I didn't put any grasping root in that at all. I'm starting to worry, though, that we are going to go another whole day without seeing our dude. I need to beat up a certain rich man, but the thing is, he's massive. Well, I mean, I don't know how much this is going to help, but go for it, I suppose. Uh, you know what? Just give me just give me reputation on that. I've noticed that my victims suffer more when I coat my dagger with a potion. What do you suggest? Uh... Well, I mean, the thing you're not being super clear about here is if you would like your victims to suffer... Yeah, this will make them hot and stinky. All right, he loves that idea. There's a rich man I want to rob, and I'll need something explosive to break through the wall of his storeroom. What? What's incompatible? The explosion will be invisible, and it will shoot lightning. That is... That is objectively rad. You suck. You know, custom brew you a potion, because you're totally lame. The customer is always right. Can you believe that? Ugh. All right. Um, it is probably the case that the best way to do this is to go left past the fire and then up, right? If we're not gonna, if we're not gonna be able to go through the trivially go through the easy way. Yeah, probably. I feel like if the um, if the product in the mortar is fully ground, there's no reason to allow you to grab the pestle, right? That is a really inconvenient whirlpool. I'm glad we have all these maps now, but almost all of them are total garbage. That should be safe, I think. Don't think we want to grind that all the way. And then like, yeah, a Kraken Mushroom does get us there. It's kind of an awkward way to do that. But the thing about the Kraken Mushroom is there are lots of situations where you can't use it. So best to make sure you are using it when you can. Otherwise, it's just going to sit in our stocks and do nothing. Okay, that was almost lethal. Good news, this potion won't kill you. It might almost kill you. Whatever, you're not drinking it, who cares? I guess unless you are drinking it, it's not really none of my business is the thing. Yeah, we can try to push up to the next popularity level. Um, do we have... So no, we haven't seen a mission objective, like a chapter objective for a popularity level in a while, but I guess the level we're at now did have one. So it is reasonable to think that popularity 10 might be an objective here. Uh, I went to visit a friend during the night and borrow something from him. Of course, I don't want to wake him up, so I'll be looking for the item in the dark. Yeah, I gotcha. Uh, I don't quite have the most normal stuff for this, but the thunder thistle is definitely going to be helpful. Let's start with that. This Kraken mushroom is, oops, this Kraken mushroom is, a, is pretty cool. I'm a, I am a fan, for sure. All 
All right, so we can use this like we did last time. Ooh, I may have over pumped there. Actually, no, I think that's totally fine. Yeah, I think so. I think we're going to have to use a second ingredient either way. So let's do this and then we'll pull back from the wall a little bit. I'm not... Uh, are we going to be scraping the bone the whole time? To, well, no. Okay, we're okay. We're okay. Uh, wish mushroom will get us there. A lot of stuff will get us there. Yeah, I guess let's just use this. There's no reason not to grind it, but I don't think we're getting those books either way. There we go. One potion for an extremely considerate woman. We should all have such good friends. Yeah, dude just totally no-showed us again. Well, let's do one more day. The moon salt recipe comes first, but actually at this rate, it looks like we will probably be able to buy both. All right, stink mushroom, a ton of uh, wind bloom. Totally forgot the name of it. Oh, hey, look who it is. So I would not be able to... I have enough money if I haggle well on easy. I can do that. Hell, I can haggle well on medium. Wouldn't this be embarrassing if I failed? <laughs> All right, a mere 10,800 gold. Uh, and then I believe we are done, my good sir. I need poison. I want to kill a certain rat that can't hold its tongue. All right, very judgmental, but fine. I can probably do that. Uh, so, I was right. The moon salt does contain albedo, which is a real shame. I guess it says right on it, but also, you know, you could you could guess reasonably. Uh, this sucks ass. This is terrible. <laughs> this is a horrible thing to have to make. What on earth? And again, it's going to give us a limited. Re I really, I really wish these were just permanent tools. All right, well, I think this has got to be our, our priority at this point, right? It's the only thing that's left in this chapter. And also, and also, if it is the tool that allows us to rotate the bottle, then it is barring us from using the oil um, map to do a lot of things really easily. So, yeah, like if this is not a an infinite use tool, then using it is always going to feel terrible because you don't want to have to make another albedo. That shit would suck. All right, what is it? What does it want again? Mm -hmm. Apologies, I pressed the stop recording button instead of the screenshot button because they're right next to each other and I thought that was a fine place for those to be bound. Maybe, maybe reconsidering that a little bit. Okay, can I, am I allowed to save in the middle of the day? I know it says it auto saves. I am, okay. I think what I'm gonna do here actually, let's call the episode here. I'm gonna work out a path for this. I'm gonna, you know, look at each of these and figure out whether it is more buildable in oil base or water base and kind of come up with a strategy. And then when y'all come back next time, we will be at the beginning of the execution of that strategy. Mostly I'm worried about this part. 
Is, is, is mana resistance an upright bottle? It is. Okay, so we can do that on oil. Because we don't know where that one is on the water uh, map, but it's reasonable to assume, I think, that it would be in, like, this area, which I do not know that I feel like we can get back to easily. So, yeah, we'll see. All right. I'm going to call it here. Thank you all so much for watching. When you return, I shall have a plan for the construction of the moon salt, and then... You know, maybe it won't be so bad moving forward from there. The moon salt itself might actually give us an easier time creating the albedo because we'll be able to make some of the potions entirely on the oil side. We'll see. Things might be okay. Come back next time to see if they are, and we'll see you then.